before we start, the items in green can be taken noted. Also, you've probably noticed the large list of items needed. That's okay. I broke this quest down into six parts and I'll be showing you exactly what you need for each of those parts. That way you're not just lugging around items you will not need. To begin the quest, speak to the archaeologist, choose a second chat option, then accept the quest. You will now have to speak to a Terry in the dig site exam center. Recent updates changed the dig site, but it's basically in the same exact spot. Once you find him, choose the first chat option. Speak to him again, choose the first chat option. Then return to the first archaeologist where you started the quest and choose the second chat option. Speak to him again, choose the first chat option. You will now need to run south to the bandit camp. This is the part that requires you to not have any bandos or sardomin items, so make sure. Find the pub and talk to the bartender. Choose the second, then the first chat option. Then go ahead and talk to the bartender again. Choose the second chat option to talk about the diamond. Now to the east of the bar, you will find an NPC called Eblis. Choose the chat options on screen. Use the required items listed on screen on Eblis. Now, I actually forgot a blood room, so I had to go to the bank and get one. So, don't be like me. Once you've given him all the items, talk to him again. And talk to Eblis by the lodestone. You will now have to obtain four diamonds, that being the blood, diamond, smoke, and shadow. You can of course obtain these in any order you'd wish. If you're looking for a specific one, check the video description for the timestamps. I'll be obtaining them in the order of shadow, smoke, blood, then ice. To begin the shadow portion, go ahead and speak to Rosola. Choose the third, then the first chat option. You'll now have to return to the bandit camp. This is the portion of the quest that requires a lot of lockpicks. Go ahead and prioritize the item and perhaps a super anti-poison. Now it's pretty common to go an entire inventory or two of lockpicks to obtain the Gilded Cross. It does happen sometimes. Now with the cross obtained, go ahead and prepare for battle. Take your magic gear and preferably earth spells to make things easier. 
Once geared, go ahead and speak to Rosola to obtain a Ring of Visibility. Equip the ring, then enter the fenced area to your east and climb down the ladder. You now need to head all the way to the eastern side of this area. It's pretty straightforward. Be weary, as soon as you enter the large area on the eastern side, you will be attacked by the shadow boss. Now if he doesn't appear right away, go ahead and hop for whatever reason that fixes it. He is really not difficult, just go ahead, slay him and pick up the diamond. Now it's important that you bank the diamond right away as you can get attacked by a high level NPC if you carry any of the diamonds in your inventory. So for now, just keep it in the bank. Now before we continue with the smoke diamond, if you've completed the as a last resort quest for the unlimited run, go ahead and quickly take a dip and head to sell the repulvin each. This unlimited run will help. If you don't have that, that's fine. Just make sure to bring a super energy restore potion or two. You'll now have to enter the smoke dungeon. Now before you enter, make sure to wear your face mask and ice gloves. Your task now is to light four beacons at the edge of this entire underground area. It's a simple matter of just clicking on it, then running to the other ones. Once you've lit in all four of them, quickly run to the center of the area and you'll find a chest. Go ahead and open it to obtain a key. Then run to the eastern side of this area. Make sure that you have your quick player set to protection from melee and make sure to using water spells. Once defeated, go ahead and pick up the gem and quickly bank it. Now before we begin this section, go ahead and bank any weapon or armor you might be wearing, as we will have to make a trip to Entrana, and of course, you can't take said items there. To begin, go ahead and enter the Cannabis Pub a cutscene will automatically start. Once the cutscene is finished, you'll find an NPC nearby called Malik. Speak to him. Chat options on screen. You'll now have to create a silver pot. Head to Dreiner Village just north of the market, you'll find a dungeon. Climb down. Nearby you'll find an NPC called Runton. Speak to him to obtain the silver pot. You'll now have to head to Entrana. Go ahead and bank anything in case the priest doesn't let you. Speak to the high priest in the large building to obtain a blessed pot. Head back to the Cannabis Pub and speak to Malik once again.
with a pot of your blood in this specific order. Go ahead and crush the garlic, use it on the pot, then use the spice. Doing this out of order will force you to get a new pot. With that out of the way, go ahead and prepare for a fight with the blood boss. Remember, magic is highly recommended and more specifically, air spells. Make your way to the graveyard just southeast of Canifis. Follow the path on screen if you're not sure on how to get there. Once you're ready to fight him, go ahead and use the pot on the coffin. There's no special mechanics involved, just simply slay him. Once defeated, head back to the Cannabis pub and speak to Malik once again to obtain the Blood Diamond. And as mentioned before, go ahead and bank it quickly as soon as you get the diamond. Before we proceed, we need to create some spiked boots. Head to Frida and purchase a cheap pair of climbing boots for 12 coins. If you don't have that option, you might have a pair in the bank already. Next, head to Dunstan in Bertha with your boots and single iron bar. Recent game updates has changed the area, but he's basically found in the same exact spot. Choose the first chat option for both prompts. Now for those of you who can cast the Cholheim Teleport after the Edgar Zeus quest, you can take a big shortcut here. Gear up, remember magic, preferably fire spells, and teleport to Trollheim and jump to the timestamp on screen now. If you haven't done this quest, then we got a little extra work to do. Head back to Frida to obtain a secondary pair of boots. Once geared up, we'll have to make our way up the mountain. The optimal way would be through the shortcut found near the trolls. If you don't have this agility level, which I assume it does require a level, then you'll need to go the long way through Sabot's cave located here on the map. Once you've climbed the rocks, head east. The path is linear and straightforward, so I'll just speed up this clip. Now that you've reached the mountain, go ahead and make your way to the icy area located here. Speak to the troll child. Use your cake on him and speak to him once again. Walk through the ice gate to proceed. Turn on protection from melee and kill 5 trolls as quickly as possible. Now being in the snow will drain your stats, hence why we required a restore or super restores. Once you've killed the 5 trolls, go ahead and proceed through the tunnel. Eventually as you proceed through the path, your run will be drained to zero. Keep your protection from melee turned on and proceed through the path.
you'll bump into the ice boss eventually in an open area. He's pretty straightforward. Use protection from magic and slay him. Pick up the loot if you please, then keep heading along the path till you reach an ice platform. Once you've reached the ice platform, go ahead and stand one square from it and equip your spiked boots and proceed. Once you've reached the top, go ahead and squeeze through the ice gate. And you will fall multiple times. Go ahead and smash both cubicles of ice. You will now receive the Ice Diamond. Go ahead and quickly bank it. If you have access to the saltwater bath in Uglog, this is a good time to take another dip. Speak to Iblis, east of the bandit camp for the last time. Head to the pyramid just south. You will now need to add the diamonds to the pillars on the sides. The blood diamond to the northwest. Smoke to the northeast. Ice to the southeast. And of course, the shadow on the last remaining pillar. Head to the pyramid entrance upstairs. You will now need to run through four levels where you'll find enemies and traps. The correct path will be shown here on screen. Expect to trigger a trap or two and having to do it all over again. It's just part of the quest and it does get annoying from time to time. Once you make it through all four levels, speak to the ghost.
and quest complete. Also the loadstone for the bandit camp is automatically activated. 